hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome 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 in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a deep conditioner leave-in and oil just using two ingredients which are fenugreek and aloe vera but before i get into the video we'll be sharing with you guys the benefits of using both ingredients to your hair the benefit of using aloe vera is it promotes hair growth, it reduces shedding, moisturizes the hair and improves hair elasticity. It also conditions the hair. So this is a really great product if you want to moisturize your hair. Also, it prevents itching and dryness of the hair. There are many benefits when it comes to using fenugreek, like it improves hair growth, split ends issue, hair strengthening and damage also used for hair thinning fenugreek also treats various scalp issues like dryness of hair hair thinning hair loss like i said earlier and dandruff treatment so these are the benefits of all of these two ingredients and now let's get right into the video first we're going to be starting with the aloe fenugreek leave-in so now i'm taking out the gel from my aloe vera plant yes guys my aloe vera looks small because where i stay you have to grow it they hardly sell the single one in supermarket so you have to like grow the aloe vera most people grow the aloe vera plant here it's not like in some places like the u.s you can walk in a supermarket and you see a single one a big one and here too you hardly see big aloe vera plants so you have to grow it you have to grow the aloe vera plants so now i am taking out the gel from the aloe vera plants because that's what i need just the gel you don't need the body you just need the gel I've already blended the aloe vera gel as you can see and this is how it looks like after it's blended. So now I'm going to extract the juice from the blended aloe vera by using a wig cap. Guys it's a new wig cap oh, make sure it's clean make sure it's a new one we don't want anything causing irritation or itching on our scalp. So now I'm going to be pouring the blended aloe vera into the cup and into the wig cap and I'm going to extract the, the juice out of the blended aloe vera into the cup <laughs> so as you can see I'm squeezing out all of the juice that's what you need into the cup that's what you need just need the juice from the aloe vera I'm squeezing out all of the juice that I can get out from the mixture so now i'm putting a little bit of fenugreek seed into a bowl guys you just need a little bit of the seed into the bowl you don't need too much and now i'm going to be pouring the aloe vera juice just small aloe vera juice into the mixture because i'm going to be using the remaining liter for the deep conditioner so you just pour a little bit of the aloe vera juice into the mixture and stir and stir the mixture so this is how it's looking like so now i'm going to let it sit all night so that the whole um nutrient from the fenugreek we can get the nutrient from the fenugreek seed and also the aloe vera juice so it's advisable to um let it sit all night so this is how it looks the next morning guys you can see the fenugreek seed is looking times two of what it looked like before that's why i said you just need a little bit of the fenugreek seed not too much it's just like rice when you're making rice it looks small but when you boil it it's kind of like sucks a lot of water it's advisable to use just a little bit you don't need to use too much so now i've extracted the liquid into another bowl and ready to put it into my spray bottle so this is how the mixture looks like it's looking like it's kind of looking like maple syrup or it's looking like honey mixed with water it kind of has that honey kind of look as you can see so this is how the mixture is going to be looking like when after you've put the um aloe vera and fenugreek seed overnight this is how it's expected to look like kind of like having a brownish kind of look so that's it 
so now i've transferred the liquid into my spray bottle and your leave-in is ready this is really good for moisturizing your hair also to moisturize your hair so now let's move to the next diy which is the aloe vera fenugreek oil so now here's my aloe vera i'm going to be taking out the spiky parts um of the aloe vera the parts that are not wanted this time i'm not going to be taking out the gel from the aloe vera plant you just need to cut the aloe vera into small pieces so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to be cutting it into small pieces for the oils you don't need to take out the gel from the aloe vera plant now i'll be adding the used fenugreek the one i used for the leaving the one i used for the leaving we don't need to waste the seed guys you're going to you're going to we're going to use the seed all through this video we mix both mixture together and here is how it looks like so this is how it's going to be looking like so now to start so these are the oils i'm going to be using coconut oil tea tree oil peppermint oil argan oil pure almond oil olive oil and ojoba oil So to make the oil, you're going to get a pot filled with water and put it in the stove. Then you put the bowl mixture inside the pot filled with water. Then I start to add the oils I mentioned earlier. I add all of the oils into this mixture. You don't have to use what I use. You can use any oil of your choice any oil that works for you can use that i love using these oils because they're also good for my edges they are also good for blood circulation and let the blood to circulate well around your head so, and they're also good for hair growth so that's why i use these oils on my hair so as the water comes to a boil i'm going to mix everything together and boil it on low heat for 10 to 15 minutes guys nothing more than 15 minutes because we don't want all the nutrients leaving the oils or leaving the mixture we don't want all the nutrients leaving the mixture so 10 to 15 minutes is okay so guys this is how it looks after i've taken it out of the boiler then i let it cool or sit for an hour or two before i transfer it into my bottle so i just let it cool down in make sure it immediately it's hot don't just transfer it into your bottle make sure you let it cool down and sit for one to two hours so now i've saved the liquid out of the mixture into the cup and here is how it looks like and i'm going to now be transferring it into the bottle guys i advise this oil it is really good i have been using it for a while now and i absolutely love it so like i said earlier i'm going to now transfer it into the bottle so this is the final result of the aloe fenugreek oil i just added a bit of a uh, fenugreek seed inside the oil to give it a bit of touch this is how the oil looks like so now let's move to making the third recipe for today which is the deep conditioner guys so now i've already put the used fenugreek into the blender this was what we used for the oil so now i'm adding my aloe vera juice the remaining aloe vera juice we had and yes i'll add more water i'll add a little bit of water too because of it tends to suck up a lot of water so you have to add enough water and enough aloe vera juice if you don't have enough aloe vera juice you can add water to it so now i'm going to be blending all of the mixture together one thing i would like you to keep in mind when using this is that make sure you warm the aloe vera juice into your microwave and also make sure the water that you're adding is warm or a bit hot my own was like almost hot so that the mixture can blend well into a thick paste and also you need to add enough water because it sucks up a lot of water so here is how it looks like now time to add the mixture into the bowl so now i'm adding the mixture into the bowl as you can see how smooth it looks if you did not use hot water or something warm when using this mixture it is going to come out like really chunky like it's not going to be this smooth and when you apply it to your hair it's going to be really bad you're, you're going to take time before you take out the mixture of your hair yes it happened to me the first time i tried this it was a disaster guys so please make sure the water or whatever liquid you're using is warm so that you can end up having the smooth thick paste okay 
so guys this is how the mixture looks like look how smooth it looks like it just makes me want to eat it it's looking like goldimon really thick goldimon or guys tell me how it looks like this mixture looks like in the comment section below so guys because of this video is a bit lengthy i won't be uploading the video of me applying all the mixture to my hair we'll be applying them in my next video which i will be posting this week this week so make sure guys you subscribe and turn on your notification bell to be notified when i upload the video so you can see how my hair looks after applying these three mixtures it's not just about applying the mixtures it's also about showing you guys how my hair looks after the application so thank you guys so much for watching today's video hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot so you can ask any question you have on today's video in the comment section below any question you have about the fenugreek seed the aloe vera just let me know in the comment section i will be happy to answer any of you guys question Bye guys and see you guys next time.